So this is part two of the help marketing channel workflow request that you saw in part one. Now we're going to put that workflow to use, put it into practice to see how it works. So just as a refresher, here's the workflow we've built. It starts from a link in Slack. It collects information in a form from your colleague who's requesting help from the marketing team. And then once they submit it, it sends it to the help marketing channel. Notice up here the variable channel where workflow was used. Now I'm just gonna do a little housekeeping and rename the channel and stuff like that. So you can see I've renamed the workflow, get help from marketing, and the subheader is submit a request. Now I'm gonna click finish up over on the upper right hand corner. You're gonna have a few different settings here to go through. Here's what it will look like as a preview when you share the link, and then you're going to hit publish. And of course, Workflow Builder will celebrate with you. Click done. Now here's the fun part. So it starts from a link in Slack. You're gonna notice a link icon here. You're gonna copy that workflow link. Then you're gonna just exit out of this window or just minimize it. And now you're back in the workflow window within Slack. Then I'm gonna navigate back to home. I'm gonna jump back into my help marketing channel. And because I want this workflow request form to be available to anyone across the organization, I'm deciding that I'm gonna store it at the top of the channel. So I'm gonna click the plus sign here scroll down to workflows. And remember, we just made a workflow. So I could easily get it here, but we also just can paste the link and it will sense that it's that workflow. So that's the get help from marketing workflow. I'm gonna click that and then I'm going to click add. And so this workflow automation is now part of the help marketing channel. But we're gonna take that to the next level. We're gonna go over to the more actions menu here the drop down menu, and we're going to feature the workflow. This is where the magic really happens. So the workflow has been featured. And what that means is that it will be even more accessible to your team. So I'm gonna go back to the main window of the channel and notice we are featuring the workflow here at the bottom of the channel for very easy visibility, but also just keep in mind, people can still send a message if they want to the channel. Or you can turn off posting permissions and just have it be workflow only. Let's pretend I need some help from team marketing. Click the button, which again is the link, going back to the link. So what is my urgency level? It's medium. What's my request? I wrote, I need help with the upcoming campaign. Now I'm going to hit submit and we see what happens. The request goes right into the channel as expected. Notice by doing it this way, Every single message is consistent, looks the same, and asks for the same things. And that's it.